here is a Pinterest inspired craft. Today we are going to make a butterfly chair. Using wooden dowels, furry fabric, acrylic paint, felt, and glue. And remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. I start by taking four wooden dowels. Mark and measure them all for the back of the chair. I'm gonna try making it about seven inches. Cut on the line drawn, so I have four seven inch wooden dowels and four five inch wooden dowels. Take two of the seven inch wooden dowels, glue them together at the top. I used a generous amount of hot glue and allowed it to dry. Repeat for the other wooden dowels using the first one as a guide. I take the five inch wooden dowels, line them up with the bottom of the seven inch wooden dowels and glue them together at the top. Then repeat for the other five inch wooden dowels, creating four upside down letter V's. Take a large one and one of the smaller ones, glue the bottom ends together at an angle. I chose to glue it to a piece of paper so the bottom end would be flat. Take the other two and glue them on so each side crosses with the seven inch wooden dowels in the back and the five inch in the front. When you lift it up, you should be able to see a square. Mine's a little lopsided. Probably should have drew it on the paper first. Yeah, that would have helped. Where the wooden dowels cross, I put a small drop of glue to give it more support. Carefully remove the paper, paint it with acrylic paint. I'm using black because it helps to hide all of the imperfections. Allow it to dry to make the frame for our butterfly chair. Now we can make the first seat. Using a scratch piece of paper and a pencil on the frame, this is the back of the chair. So we're going to lay it onto the paper, trace around the top, giving it a nice amount of clearance. Then make a swoop going from one end to the other. Then go around that side and go straight down. I stop right about where the wooden dowels cross in the back. Turn the frame over, placing the cross at the center and trace around it just as before. Remove the frame and make adjustments to the pattern. I took this side in on a curve and I wanna make sure that both sides are even so I fold it in half, cut on the line drawn to make my pattern. Place it on the frame to see if it's a good fit. I think that'll work. I place the faux fur onto my table with the good side facing down, place my pattern on top, lightly sketch around it with a pencil or chalk, cut on the line drawn, trace the ends of the pattern onto a piece of felt, cut them out so there is one for each corner, apply glue around the curved edge, then glue it into place, making a pocket. Repeat on all four corners, to place it onto the frame, put the pockets over the ends of the wooden dowels to make a fur seat that our dolls can curl up in for a cozy afternoon. And since the fur is just a cover, we can make different ones using other non-fraying fabrics. This time I made it with a faux leather, I sewed on the ends, and used a hot glue gun to hem the edges because the back of this faux leather is white and I didn't want it to be seen. Cut a piece of white faux fur, lay it across the chair, add our large desk lamp from a previous video, a side table, and a plant for another Pinterest inspired look. And you're done. Happy crafting! Want to give a shout out to Poppy Young. What's up? Hey Sophie, just wanted to let you know that I'm back. How was shopping? Find anything cool? Well, I did find this butterfly chair. A butterfly chair? That sounds so pretty. I bet it's all colorful with little printed butterfly wings. 
It sounds like furniture for fairies. Too much cuteness. Mom, this is a butterfly chair? Where are the butterflies? In my